Well, welcome to Metal Gear Solid Episode Six. Metal Gear Solid Three yeah. Episode Six. Yeah. Not motion detector. Sonar, you passed it. Oh, okay. That works too. Just checking. There are things here. All right. There's a snake in front of you. Uh, Don't forget to check and see if your food's gone off or not. It probably has. It probably has. It. Well, the hornet's nest did. I. Okay. I thought you were gonna eat it. I was like, don't. No. <laughs> uh, so what's been going on, buddy? Uh, I was thinking about what, at the start of this session how Paramedic told you that any time that you save the game and aren't playing, that means Snake is asleep, which means he fell into the cavern and then knocked out for over a week. <laughs> that's so a that's a thought. Time. Frog. I found out that, oh! Uh, I ha I'm apparently having my birthday party tomorrow. Oh, wonderful. My family's like, yeah, we're gonna throw you a surprise party. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> no, there's, there's precedent. It's because they're like, we're having a party tomorrow, please show up. And I'm like, I don't want to. I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna spend the day with, oh, hello, giant snake. Oh, it that almost cobra bit almost me in the face. You. Oh, my cage is full. Eat one of the things you have already. Yeah. Uh, but my, my aunt was just like, yeah, we're having a, we're having a party tomorrow. We'd like, we'd like you to show up cause you know, your grandmother's in town. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, but like, I'm going to be spending the day with Julie. I'm, I have work that night. I don't want to, you know, like, I don't want to go out of my way. Like I want to spend time with family, but I can't be there like all day. And then it's like, oh no, it's, well, tomorrow's supposed to be like a birthday party. It was going to be a surprise. I'm like, oh well, now I'm glad you told me because I'll make more of an effort to show up to the thing that was supposed to be for me. And also, I can tell you that I don't like surprises. Mm. <laughs> That's a human skeleton. And a bunch dark. of fucking bullets. A bunch of bullets. It's so dark. I might have to increase the gamma on this in post. Uh, You can definitely try, uh, try that. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Uh, it is no longer as dark. Yeah. Also, my life is finally returning to to normal. Oh yeah. It, after after the full year that has been 2000 and hey another skeleton, a shotgun. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a snake. Crawl under there. Wait, hold on. Okay, my Mark 22 bullets are full. Um. They're actually so, not. You reload. There you go. No, it's 41 to 41. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, so last year, I thought that my life was going to be, okay, film, uh, film the food show, which is to be revealed. Yeah. We're not, we're not done setting it up yet. Cooking, yeah. uh, filming the food show, doing the crumple zone, and, yeah. like, my Twitch streams. Yeah. But then that didn't happen. Nope. Because pandemic happened, stuff happened with you, stuff stuff happened with uh, the other guy that I was working with, and it just like yeah. the stars just kind of like crab, crab battle fell from the sky. Crab battle. Yeah, the world ended around us. Yeah. Um. So I kind I kind I kind of hit a, a bit of a rough spot, dude. It's I think if any if like ever you were gonna say. That wasn't my best year. It'd be the year when everyone said this wasn't my best year. Yeah. But no, like, it just kind of... It was... It was a really bad time for me because... I... You know you know, I have... Uh, you, uh, you know I have a penchant for, like, dreaming big but not really following through. You go all the way to 11 and then back down all the way to zero again. And yeah. then hyper-invest in a new thing. Which mm -hmm. is admirable in its own way, because I never over-invest to 11 in anything. I go up to 8 and then back off and then because I'm, like, bored or, like, I'm, I get tired of it or whatever. Right. Um, but then I also had the, I also had the issue of just having this plan, but also pretty much having it need uh, having it, like, depend on other people for it to, like, 
come through, so when everything fell out from under me, I just, like, it, it wasn't a good time. With no infrastructure, the ability to maintain I your life becomes you very last. difficult. This is not a unique thing, so don't feel bad. Yeah. We are the sons of the boss. That's why when it's like, if you're retired, immediately start working on a project. Mm -hmm. I am the pain. The pain. I remember this guy. Yeah, you do. Ha. I will guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination. Also, the thumbnail's almost done. For 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 the viewing audience, the thumbnail is being worked on while uh, while we're During filming. filming the series, and Cody yeah. still hasn't seen it. I but haven't I think seen he's it yet. Re I think he's really gonna be happy. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so I was gonna tell you that uh, if we had gotten to this part last week, congratulations. If you throw the hornet's nest at him, the bu the the hornets won't attack you. They'll go into the the hornet's nest instead but it rotted away and you threw it out. Even if it was rotting? No. Rotting, it, if it's rotten out, they won't go into it. I don't think. Mm -hmm. I remember this was the fight where you were like, yeah, this is a Metal Gear game, all right. Oh, yeah. Because, like... You play the, the Ocelot fight, and you're like, yeah, that's Ocelot. But then you do this, and there's a man covered with bees. Would you like a little strategy? Does oh. it throw a stun grenade at him? Nah, uh, stun, I think stun grenades work too. Yeah, they do. Smoke grenades will pacify the bees, is what I was going to say. I don't have any in my belt. Which means time to go into my belt. Hey, <laughs> hey, hang on, pain. <laughs> Inventory management simulator. Yeah, right. Um, don't need the All other the way down. seven. There's no reason to have a shotgun equipped in a fight like this. Yeah. It's useless. Just <laughs> get up on his stage and throw a claymore at his head. I don't... Oh. I don't think there's a way to physically get up to where he is, actually. If there is, I sure as hell, uh, sure as hell never figured out how. Hmm. That bee grenade's coming to get you, by the way. Oh! They caught your smoke grenade and threw it back at you. That's what that was. Did they? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh! I... Shit! Also, I think the stun grenade's working better than the smoke. Yeah. Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Oh, equip the snow camo. Really? Yes. Oh, because it's a it's bee white. costume. <laughs> I'll paint. Theoretically, I don't remember if this one's a rumor or if it's actually true, but apparently it's supposed to make the bees more passive. Question mark. Yeah. I got that quick reload down now, too. Hey, what the hell is oh, this? Oh, yeah. Uh, grenade. Oh, it's a normal grenade. Oh, it's just a grenade. I'm trying to remember exactly where we left off. I heard him. You blinded him. Ah. Wherever the hell he is. There he is. There's a way to ADS. I wish I could tell you how. Oh, it does work. Uh oh. Wait, what you the got hell? got the JPEGs on you. What oh. happened? Don't tell me that was a game over. What did you? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is it the? Uh, is it the phase two? Yeah, phase two. God damn it. Let him! He's horrible. There's a wonderful animation where all the Metal Gear bosses are hanging out. It was on Newgrounds, I think. And they're like, oh yeah, we're hanging out having a barbecue. The pain, what do you want? And he goes, just some bees, please. And they're like, are you trying to be funny? I don't understand. And it's just that for like a minute. They're like, okay. 
It was a very, it's from that very special window of 2007 internet when it's just a dumb joke. Oh god. Ooh, bullet bee. Oh, well, there's the bee pheromones. Got the pheromones on ya. Alright, time to hide. Also, you have a bullet bee inside of your body. Do I? No red health. Sure. Uh, it's ac- uh, <laughs> It's eating away at your flesh. <laughs> Knife. From underwater. So that's what, so that's what the- <laughs> That's right, you pulled a bee out of your chest while you were swimming. Oh. Come on. Beautiful. Come on, Snake. Come on, Snake. You can do it. I don't understand the point of this technique. I'll create a shadow clone out of bees. Why? He doesn't even attack while he's doing it. On the left. Oh no, you got it. You know what you're doing. Don't listen to me. You just killed a shitload of fish. I don't know if you heard that. I think I, I think I did. The sound of like ten items hitting the ground and spawning. Yep. Man, okay, so you don't listen to Castle Super Beast, right? I do not. They were talking about some stuff in the video games industry and like the di like the difference between an artist and an auteur, where an artist is someone who's like really up their own ass and claims that they're the best, and then in someone who's an auteur who's like they just are good at the thing, they're like a savant, mm -hmm. and they're like Kojima's a, like he is an expert at making like this stuff. Like you see just a trailer for a game and you go, "This is Kojima." You can feel it when you look at it. Yeah, this is, dude. I'm right. I'm right there with you with this being like. My favorite MGS. I we've right gotten away. past this point already, but yeah, you're not having like a bad time. You're not like, oh, I got to do this again. Yeah, the only reason why I'm having a bad time is because well, I was we've bad at the game. Over. Um, not camouflage backpack. Backpack backpack. Uh, smoke grenades aren't really doing anything. You see that footage that came out, by the way, of the drone that was flying over an Icelandic volcano and it flew into the lava? I did, and it just fucking melted. It just disappears. The footage just ends, and it looks fake. So, okay, so a weird- so a story that's gonna feel really weird and tangential, but is totally gonna feel related when I get to the end, you'll understand it. So when I was a kid, a pinecone hit me in the eye. Like, I was outside playing with friends, and that's just, like, we were throwing pine cones at each other because we didn't have, like, a ball or whatever to throw around back in the day when people did that. Mm hmm And a pine cone hit me in the eye and scraped off my cornea. Mm. And you know that horrible, weird, like, liquidy, melty effect that you get in that at the end of that clip? That's what my vision looked like. Oh, God. It was rough. I can it's not till you get to this age where you go, a lot of bad things happened to me when I was younger. Yeah. The pain was real, you might say. The pain. Bees just melt. What? Just falling out of the sky. Oh, I thought, okay, you said the bees just melt, and I went, excuse me? That sentence doesn't make any sense. It's a violent melting. I mean, I guess, maybe. Can I get up here? No, I don't think so. I will tell you that if you beat bosses with, uh, not, uh, reducing their stamina... Yeah, with the MK22, you'll get their camo. Really? Uh, yeah, the pain's camo is bees will never attack you. Oh. Well. I guess also, we'll if you want, you can totally call Sigint and he'll talk to you about these guys. Really? I think. I think it's Sigint anyway. I think it's too late. Yo, oh up. no, that's right! <laughs> <laughs> oh. First conversation, aww. I, uh, I forgot. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's member's name. 
Yeah, we've seen that one already. Uh huh. And the sorrow was the, the was the, the boss's partner. The boss took with her when she we've, we heard this one. Yeah. Because it was the fourth one was the boss. You will talk about every single item. I th I think he's just weapons. Snake, I mean he is, but hey. L. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What is even just a clone of the boss? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary cult. Ordinarily, ordinarily I'd say, ordinarily I'd say that's ridiculous, but the first game literally established that clones exist. So. That too. Don't but waste no. your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. I have my you perpetual doubt from you, <laughs> from you establishing that you lied to me during Metal Gear. Specifically, but I'll believe you for now. In an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie swamp. What's weird is that I that you're actually alluding to a different thing that I like. You can like really tell when you look back on it from a different game. Really? Which is super strange. I'll talk about it off camera because it's a big spoiler. Okay. Well, but it's not from Metal Gear. Okay. Is it police not? Also, you might want to eat something. Nope. I'm your own personal codec at this point, I just realized. Yeah. Eat that rabbit alive. Peta's gonna be so mad at me. Pretty tasty. Pretty Delicious. tasty. It's weird that I didn't get the animation for it and I forgot to change my it camo. Yeah, running around in a snow camo is gonna be noticeable all right let's go also i think your health goes up every time you beat a boss but i might be imagining it and remembering wrong because i haven't played this game in a long time mm -hmm. so far it looks the same to me hey another cutscene. <laughs> 